What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I'm going to show you a fishing guide for Red Dead Online. Now this is going to be on the Dakota River the entire time. We're going to start in Valentine and end in Blackwater. Of course we got Northern Pike, Sockeye Salmon, Largemouth Bass, and Steelhead Trout. That is what we're going to be fishing for. These are the most expensive fish to sell in game. Now of course we're going to start in Valentine and we're going to start with that Northern Pike. What you're going to need for this is a river lure. And if you're like myself, you're not high enough level to buy that special river lure. I think it's around 40, maybe a little bit higher. What you can do is go to the general store and purchase a river lure for gold. It'll be one gold for a river lure, one gold for a swamp lure, and one gold for a lake lure. Now you can use these multiple times as long as you want. I've had all three of mine for around two weeks now. You do not have any issue with losing them unless the line breaks or you cut the line. Then you will have to go back and buy another one for one gold. Now, if you are high enough level, you can purchase that special lure and it does not seem to break at all. Most people say that they have no issue with it breaking or you losing it. But just keep in mind, don't cut the line and try not to let the line break. Then you can just use these lures that you can buy with one gold each as long as you want. Like I said, the first thing that we're going to find here, and of course I'm going to show you right where I'm at on the map, is the northern pike. You only can carry one northern pike with you because they are large. You will put it across the back of your horse like you would a normal animal skin, and this will sell for $8. Now where I'm located is a very good spot all the way up to around the D in the Dakota River right there is where you can find these. And you can use things like cheese, uh, worms, bread, all that kind of stuff. The only problem with that is you're going to catch other small fish. You're wanting to do this quickly and efficiently, in my opinion, because you can do this entire route that I'm going to show you in about 15 minutes and make anywhere from 60 to a maximum of $78 in that 15 minutes. So you can do this trip four times and make a good bit of money. But once you have this trout on your line, make sure that you're, uh, or this northern pike, excuse me, on your line, Make sure that you are going left and right to kind of calm it down quickly and always be pulling kind of that pole up in the air. As soon as you see it sink down, pull back on it. That's going to pull that fish to you. While you're pulling, you know, the pole back towards you, you want to be reeling at the same time. And how you pull that pole towards you, if you do not know, is hit down on the left stick. So every time I see my pole hit, kind of aim towards the water or sink down towards the water, I hit, left, hit the left stick and pull the pole, pole towards me. That will reel these fish in a lot quicker. The next place we're going to go is right over the hill from where we're at. And this is going to be for sockeye salmon. Now you can carry 10 of these. So you're wanting to catch 10 in this location. And that's going to bring you $25 for those 10. These are very easy to catch because they're in a very narrow kind of river location here. You can kind of see where I'm at. You can go from here to the island I marked at the start. So kind of from where I am to the right that's where most of these sockeye salmon are. So you're going to be kind of right in that location in this very small, narrow channel. The good thing is you can go a, a bit further out than I am right now into the water and cast, uh, you know, just very short kind of, uh, of throws and you can reel these things in. I would say probably when you get the hang of it, you're going to be able to reel in about two every minute, if not more, if you're very quick and you're kind of, you know, deeper in the water where you can just catch them really fast and pretty much just pull them right to you without having to reel too often. Now, like I said, this is going to be the sockeye salmon location. Of course, if you have not ever caught a sockeye, sockeye salmon in game, you will not know what they look like. They're kind of this red looking color, but always make sure you're using your eagle vision when fishing so you can find the larger fish. Because like I said, when you're using that river lure, you're not going to catch anything but the larger fish. You're not going to catch any of the small fish. You're wanting to cast to the main kind of area where these bigger fish are located. But once you have caught your 10 sockeye salmon in this location, we're going to go over the hill again, kind of behind us, and we're going to look for steelhead trout and largemouth bass. Now, this is going to be kind of the challenging part. Not that it's hard to catch, but they're both in the same location. So you could catch 10 steelhead trout and 10 largemouth bass. The only problem is you're going to be throwing some fish back. So what I do in this video or this where I recorded here, I think I ended up with 10 largemouth bass and only three or four steelhead trout. I have gone down here before and I would say on the average, you're usually going to end up with like 10 and seven or 10 and eight. Sometimes you will get lucky and get 10 of one, nine or the other, or, or 10 of both 
without having to throw anything back. But the, the issue with this is if you're going to stay here for a long period of time and try to catch 10 of each, it's going to definitely slow this process down. So that's why I just catch 10 of one and whatever I have of the other, whether it be largemouth bass or steelhead trout, I just kind of go and sell what I have. So with the largemouth bass, they're $2 each, so that's 20 bucks for 10. Of course, the steelhead trout are just like the sockeye salmon. For 10 of those, you're going to get $25. So these are the most expensive fishing game that you can sell. And that is one reason I really enjoy this route kind of to fish on. It does not take long. Once you get the hang of it, at the most, it takes me 15 minutes to make it from Ballantyne down to Blackwater and catch all the fish in between. Once that happens, what you want to do is once you go sell these fish at Blackwater, you want to come back to this location that I'm in right now and start again. Start first with your largemouth bass and your steelhead trout, then move to the sockeye salmon location, and then go up to Valentine, catch that northern pike, sell it at the butcher there, and start over again with the northern pike and make your way down like I did here in the video. You usually can make this trip four times in an hour is pretty much what I have it kind of down to. But let's just say you can only do it three times. You're still looking at $234 in about 45 minutes to an hour. But if you can get four trips in, you're going to be making even more money than that. So within a couple hours of doing this, you can net a good bit of money for your uh, for your character, of course, online here. And like I said, just kind of start in Valentine, go down to Blackwater, and just reverse that process. And you're going to be able to make a good bit of money. I hope this helps you out, guys. I hope I gave you some tips here that will kind of help you along with your, uh, with your fishing in-game. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.